Hi guys, Mike here. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to convert an F string to a lower or uppercase version. There are two different functions for each case to cover, so let's get started. So, when we have a string in Blueprints, there are two functions that we can call or use to create a upper or lowercase version of a string. And in Blueprints, you only have access to these two versions that return a new string. But in C++, there's also an inline version of each of them. So let's have a look how to do this. So here in C++, we have our test string with different casing. And if we would click or use the test it in our editor and click it, you would see this string. If we, let's say, now create a string one and say test string dot to lower, it returns a new string. And what we can do is test this out. So let's compile for a second. And in the editor, let's hit play execute and you can see to lower all those characters are convert to lowercase version and the same goes with to upper so if we call to upper function compile it test it out you see all uppercase characters and then there is also a inline version so if we would use this compile it just for to showcase this test it you can see it's still the old version, but because the to upper creates a new string and returns it. But there's also like an inline version that let's say we use test string dot to lower inline, for example. It doesn't return a new string, it changes the actual string. So if we would now compile and test it and head over to the editor, you can see the original one has been changed. So this is the difference between the to upper to lower version or the inline versions. And there's of course a to upper inline version as well that would then create an upper case version of all characters. So that was a real short video, just explaining the to upper to lower and the inline versions. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I tried to explain everything to the best of my ability, but if I didn't or things were unclear, feel free to ask and I will gladly answer any questions you might have. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and sub if you did. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.